Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the past, present, future energies for you in love and the person that you might be dealing with. What are the energies between you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So take what applies to you. For Aquarius spirit, what is going on in their connection? What is going on in their connection? Messages for Aquarius, please. In love. Okay, we got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. So let's see what else we get. I'm going to be using my new energy oracle deck. This is a physical deck. Um, a lot of you might already recognize in the past that I've used my digital deck that I printed out. Um, and this is still available in my shop. Um, and this is a physical version of it that I came up with. It has some of the similar images or some of the pictures are the same, but a lot of them are different. So I'm not sure if I want to sell this yet. So stay tuned if I change my mind on that. But it's a beautiful deck um, and I couldn't wait to use it. So here we are. Spirit, tell me about the energies. In this connection what else do we need to know for Aquarius what else do we need to know about this connection oh we got wishing well wish desire request your wish is being granted okay what else for Aquarius regarding this connection what else do we need to know spirit Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. Very interesting. And then bottom of the deck, I have walking away. Departure journey movement. You're walking away towards something more fulfilling. So I'm getting a few messages. Some of you may have already walked away from this person. Um... Perhaps because someone was unfaithful or gave in to temptation or thought the grass was greener on the other side. This could have been you that walked away or someone that walked away from you. Um, I feel like you are expecting an apology or needing an apology or perhaps you want to apologize to someone. And this is something you've been desiring. And I feel like this is something that will be happening for you if that is, you know, your story. Let's see. Tell us more, Spirit, about this connection that Aquarius is dealing with. Now, um, I do reversals on my channel. My deck is not completely reversed. I've gotten comments about that. The deck is completely mixed. Half and half, okay? Probably a little bit more. Probably like 60-40. But it's whatever messages come out, whatever spirit wants to come out. That is the message. You don't have to like it, but that's what it is. <laughs> All right. Um, what's the message here for Aquarius spirit? What's going on in their connection? For Aquarius, what's going on here in this connection? Okay, that feels good. What's going on in this connection, Spirit? What can you tell us? Four of Cups, Reverse. I want this one too. The Star. Wow, you're showing up to your own reading here, Aquarius, with the Star. Another card for, um, well, I don't want to say another card for forgiveness, but forgiveness typically brings healing. This is a card about healing, renewal, and faith. Um, a wish as well. The Four of Cups reverse is someone that has had a change of heart, has had renewed interest in something that they weren't open to before. Um, maybe they were closed off to an opportunity in the past and now they no longer are closed off to new opportunities. Wow, and then we have the Queen of Coin with the Page of Coin at the bottom. This is an offer coming in here or someone wanting to reach out, uh, take you out on a date or uh, give you give you something. This is something tangible. This could be a gift. This could be someone asking you out for a meal. Um, this could be somebody that wants to talk about, you know, taking things to the next level, etc. Queen of coin, wow. 
this is someone that's very generous, very uh, family oriented, business um, oriented. They're natural entrepreneurs, good with money. Um, the Queen of Coin tends to already be in a connection. Um, they tend to be a very stable, grounded, loyal people. So we'll clarify and see what that's about. This could be the energy that you are bringing uh, to this connection, Aquarius, or this could be uh, the person that you're dealing with. Um, maybe they are that type of energy. We'll see. Let's see what else we can get here and then you can um, see if this resonates for you. Tell us more, Spirit. Tell us more about these energies for Aquarius regarding the person they are in a connection with at this time. Tell me about the Four of Cups reverse. What's this about? The world. I kept seeing the world when I was shuffling. Someone has had a change of heart and perhaps wants a new beginning or it's open to a whole new cycle here, a whole new uh, life or journey. Tell me more about the Four of Cups reverse. The Knight of Cups, yes, this is someone that could be apologizing to you, someone that could be expressing how they feel, wants a new beginning with you here. And Strength, Leo energy, they could have Leo in their chart, they could be a water sign, earth sign, another Aquarius. Does not have to be, but um, this could be somebody that is 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 wanting to, to take control of the situation, wanting to have this new beginning and so they're being very thoughtful about how the, how they do it um they could have a lot of courage or need courage in order to come to you but yeah this is someone that wants to make things right i have justice at the bottom of the deck i feel like if this is someone that's coming to apologize to you it's going to feel like this is something that's actually fair to you it's going to feel like you're getting justice you know justice is served or something like that this, this could be somebody that's going to apologize and tell you that they made a mistake um, or they want to express how they feel. Maybe in the past they didn't feel a certain way towards you and now they do. Uh, Aquarius, this could also be you, you know, because this is both of you in this spread here. Tell me about the star. What is the star doing here, Spirit? Tell us about the star. nine of cups reverse so you did not get your wish at one point yep and i feel like that's going to be stabilized there's something here that you didn't get before and i feel like it's going to be granted to you or something about something that you've been wanting or desiring there's stability harmony peace someone could be wanting to stabilize the situation heal the situation bring back harmony in the home um, some of you could be living with this person or were and, and, and it just wasn't, you know, maybe the connection wasn't what you thought it was going to be. And now, you know, because of what happened, there is a lot of healing that needs to take place here. Tell me about the star, please. About the star. Yeah, this is someone that doesn't want to fight anymore. Again, with justice. Yeah, this is someone that wants to make things right. Whatever happened between you in the past, they they're thinking about healing it. This is what they want, or this is what you both want. One of you wants this, <laughs> but for some reason, um, because the star is here, I feel like you want this as well. Tell me about the queen of coin. There's a queen of coin here. Now we got the chariot moving forward. I feel like this person's thinking about, um, well, actually, let me get another card before. Tell me more about the queen of coin. Cancer energy with the chariot here. Two of Pentacles reverse. About the Queen of Coin. Wow. 
can't believe this. The Lovers and the Ten of Cups. Look at this. This is like happy ending with... The, someone has chosen who they want to be with. This is family, you know, this is um, contentment, being emotionally fulfilled. Um, this is about someone that's made a choice here with the Two of Pentacles reverse and the lovers. They've chosen who they want to be with. They've chosen their soulmate, their partner. Um, and it's like they want to move forward and it's like they want to wife you up or, or ask you to be their husband or something. Because um, Queen of Queen could be male or female. But it's almost like they're thinking of the end goal here. Ultimate success with who they feel is the right person for them. So not only do they want to, to have healing, not only do they want to fix this in some way. But they want to do that because they want to be with you and have it all with you. Look at this. I have the Four of Wands, the Lovers, the Ten of Cups. I have the Chariot and the World and the Knight of Cups. Come on. Like, this is someone that wants it all with you. So let's get some more information about how you are feeling towards each other. Spirit, tell me how these two are feeling about each other. Tell me about... Aquarius and this other person. What are the energies that Aquarius is bringing to this connection? The energies that Aquarius is bringing to this connection. Looking inward. Reflection, solitude, planning. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. So... Interesting. I feel like you are on a solitary journey. I feel like maybe some of you are single right now. And you are thinking of what you want for yourself. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, I have happy ending. Abundance, joy, fulfillment. You are thinking of your happy ending. How you can be happy. How you can get what you want. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with here, Spirit. What are their energies at this time? What are their energies at this time? I got two. Wow. We have coming together. Oh my God. And new beginnings. Look at this. Coming together. Reunion destiny meeting. Destiny has brought you together. Like look at that card. It's beautiful. And then new beginnings. Beginnings, new day journey. You're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start. So this person, it cannot be clearer. They want to come together with you and have a new beginning with you. <laughs> I mean, the message is the message. So what else can we get about your energies here? Let me use the animal spirit for that. Tell me more spirit. Tell me more about how these two are thinking or feeling about each other. Tell me about Aquarius. What is, I just wanted to say Gemini for some reason. Tell me about Aquarius. What are their energies? Okay, we got Buffalo. Again, very stable, grounded energy with a Buffalo. This is someone that looks at the path ahead. You are really thinking of the path forward, your future. And it's like, I don't know if you're thinking about your future with this person, or I don't know if you're thinking about your future now that you are by yourself, or now that you know what you want. The buffalo is not afraid of what's coming their way either. They're very focused. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies? Okay, we have yeah, the lion and the fox. Two two more energies for this person. Um, it's like they have something to say here. The fox is a partner for life. They tend to be, um, you know, clever. But because of the other cards that I have here, this person is just thinking of you like long term. And with the lion, this is someone that's like they're focused on their goal and they're going to make it happen no matter what. Like they are determined. They are brave and determined. And it's almost like maybe they're appearing brave. Maybe they don't have full courage here <laughs> but at least that's the energy that they want to have here or it's like what they're thinking about it's like they want to be a lion you know very fiery energy we have another lion here you could be dealing with a leo so have strength and lion here so let's see what else we get now aquarius i have you on this side and i have your person on this side but feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you because they can be vice versa okay 
Okay, let's see if I can. Let's look more about how you are thinking or feeling about each other. Tell me more, sir, about how Aquarius and this person are thinking or feeling about each other. Let's start with you, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius, Spirit. Clearly you're thinking a lot, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. What are they thinking or feeling in this connection at this time? Oh, we got the King of Cups. There's emotion here. There are feelings here. Maybe you're not showing them, but they're there. I'm also getting, it's like you're thinking about love. What else for Aquarius? Seven of Swords reversed. So you've, I feel like this person, you, you caught them doing something or you found something out. Um, and that's why there's forgiveness that needs to be had here. But at the same time, I'm also picking up that you still care about this person. However, I wonder if you care enough to want to do this again. Let me know down in the comments if this person screwed up or if you screwed up, like, um, do you want to try again? Are you interested in that? Tell me more about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Oh my gosh, we got strength reverse. <laughs> Leo energy again. So I don't feel this person has is as, as brave as they appear to be. I'm also picking up like some frustration because they're trying to restabilize it, this situation and make something work. Maybe it's not going their way. Yeah, three of coin reverse. I want this one too. And the world. So we got the world again for this person or the world again, but we have the world twice basically, but it's your person that has it on their side. So they're the ones that want a new beginning. However, I feel like there's, this is out of their control. I'm getting to that. It's like, maybe they're not putting in as much effort as they need to put here. Let's clarify. Help me clarify these energies, please. For Aquarius. Ooh. Let me clarify for Aquarius, please. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Nine of Swords reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? This really affected you at one point, whatever this person did, but um, I feel like you are over it or you are hmm, you've put a, a boundary here you're protecting your heart you're guarded uh, because this person really hurt you or whatever you found out was hurtful perhaps things didn't go the way that you expected it to um, maybe you caught this person and pretty much were like queen of swords energy where you were like I need you out of my life or very like willing to cut them out of your life you know yeah you were disappointed maybe this caught you by surprise maybe you weren't expecting it from this person but i feel like when you found something out here um you weren't as interested as before i think you closed yourself off here Maybe you stop dating for a while or something like that. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Yeah, I feel like you shut someone out, but you still secretly have feelings for them. Perhaps you miss them, but I don't think you've told anybody or you've kept that to yourself. Uh, maybe you wish they would return and apologize to you or make things right because deep down you still care about them or have some sort of feelings regarding the situation. Why the strength card reverse? Why is strength reverse? 
Yeah, they have doubts. So the, your person has doubts that you feel the same way, that this is going to work out, that they'll be able to rebalance the situation. Um, also picking up that they're picturing you rejecting them. Why is the three of coin reverse? So it's okay. So they need to put in a lot of effort in order to make this offer happen. I don't know if they are. Okay, so hmm. Capricorn energy with the devil and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So what I'm picking up here, um, this person is like. They really desire you. They probably have an unhealthy attachment to you. They're probably really into um, f the physical side of things. I think this person is prone to making mistakes. I think they, when something is too hard or takes too much effort, they try to cor cut corners and take shortcuts. And I think it blows up in their face. They need to have a whole new approach here. I, I hope they do. I have the world here. I think in their mind, something is just not, since this is out of their control, it's like they're trying way too hard here. They want to give you everything here because they're desperate. Um, I don't think they're thinking about things in the best way. Um, because they're really worried here. It's like they don't want to lose and so that forces them to act a certain way here. Can I get one more for the devil? Yeah, seven of wands. I feel like this is what they're picturing that when they come to talk to you, you're going to be like back off, not interested. And I, I don't, they can't accept that or they don't want to accept that is what I'm picking up here. Tell me about the world. The Hierophant. Hopefully this person is not already in a commitment. If they are not in a commitment, they want commitment with you in a whole new cycle. If they are in a commitment, this needs to end in order to have a new cycle. I don't think it has. Yeah, so they're, they're walking away from something here in order to have a new beginning. Eight of Cups. They might need to walk away from someone else. Until they do that, you're not going to be interested. And I think they know that. What are their next actions going to be towards Aquarius? Let's see. For Aquarius. What are their next actions going to be towards Aquarius or this connection? What are their next actions going to be towards Aquarius or this connection spirit? The full reverse. What are their next actions going to be? The higher font. Mm -hmm. Eight of coin reverse. Something, yeah, this person. They're unable to put in, I don't think that they, it's not that they don't want to put in effort. I think they're not able to put in effort. They're attracted to you. They're, they're wanting this really badly, but I feel like there's something that's keeping them from putting in as much effort as is required. Hopefully it's not another commitment, but I feel like for some of you, it definitely is. And they would have to take a huge risk in order to walk away from this commitment, if that is the case. Others of you, it's like this person wants to be this upstanding, moral person with values, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of work to get there. And I don't know if they're willing to do that or if they, if they realize that. Perhaps you're going to ask a lot of them this time around, or perhaps you, it's not just enough for you to get an apology. You want actual effort. 